guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos across the whole medieval period. We do lots of reviews into other people's gear, we do crafting videos into costuming, we do DIY videos into uh, furniture and this kind of thing. We do videos about medieval encampment and cooking and we do analysis videos into the events that took place, who were the key people and why did things turn out the way that they did. If medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing Yes, I know the beard has gone. Long live the beard. Alrighty guys, welcome to Knot of the Week. So we're going to do a whole bunch of different knots and this is really about uh, developing some skills for medieval style campments and that kind of thing. So whether you're into live action role play, medieval reenactment or the SCA or lots of other groups, perhaps you'd just like to develop your knot tying skills. Maybe you're just in school or, or in the scouting movement, that kind of thing. This is a great place to learn some of that stuff. We're going to be doing at least one knot a week, sometimes more. Um, and they're going to be very simple step-by-step -step instructions. Let's take a look. Today's knot is the reef knot. Let's tie the reef knot. There we go. All right, super, super simple. We have a cord in the left hand and a cord in the right hand. This is a knot used for tying two cords that are roughly the same diameter. And we're simply going to put, in this case, the left hand one across the right. We are going to come back and tie a simple knot. And we're then going to put the right over the left and tie the knot. And there we have a reef knot. Okay, that's what it should look like. Nice, simple, uh, interlocked knots. Um, very, very, very strong. I'm using a sinsel type natural fibre rope. Um, and that's probably what most of you guys will be using if you're into medieval encampment and that kind of thing. Um, it doesn't work quite as well necessarily with uh, synthetic ropes. Um, because they don't tend to have their own natural resistance against each other uh, which this sort of does so there we go guys very simple and a, a very simple knot to tie I think tying good quality knots is a great way to go because um, it looks so much more professional than just fudging it with um, just sort of any old knot. Alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.